Punisher Max. Hello, hello. Hi, Chicho. Have you read any comics like that? Yeah, I'm reading. I'm still reading some comics. Fedor. Yeah, Fedor was never in the UFC. Okay, so Fedor wasn't in the UFC. Randy was 43. Okay, okay, okay. Fedor is amazing, by the way. And comic books. Yeah, I'm reading some comic books. I mean, I always have comic books laying around. Uh, I'm re I'm like halfway through this. Uh, Vigilante number, what, what, which one is this? Number three. Just random comics right now. That's all I got time for right now, which I'm really enjoying, right? And I was flipping through this. I got to read this too. Star brand for Marvel. New universe. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And it's star brand. And it's star brand. <laughs> and I'm, I'm reading Monstrous. I picked up the trade paperback, the most recent from Monstrous. So I'm just about to go through that. And um, yeah, I read some randoms as well, but I've cut back on my comic book pull list. I'm cutting back to the bare essentials, which is Valiant and two other issues. Everything else is being cut back. I'm not even going to the comic book store uh, on Wednesdays anymore because remember, if you guys have ever watched my comic book videos, especially the first video, I explain who I am in terms of comic books and stuff and I believe in that video I mentioned that there are times in your life where or in my life as a comic book collector that I collect a lot and there are times that I don't collect any because other more important things in life have have surfaced that you have to deal with right this is one of those periods I almost cut it back completely I almost stopped my pull list right but because we're doing comic book con content, I justified having a pull list still because I'm still creating comic books and it's part of integrated into my work, right? So, and just so you know why I've cut back on comic books, it is because of centralized powers mandates dictating how people can live, how people can function in the society. And my partner being a nurse, she has been on the front lines, front lines of um, this pandemic, uh, for the last two and a half years, basically, right? Risking her life, risking her family's life, which is mine, right? Without proper protection, right? And she has been going there, picking up extra shifts. I don't believe she ever even called in sick, right? However, the centralized, draconian, uh, fascistic government that we have in Canada came out and mandated and British Columbia, actually, in British Columbia, mandated, the federal government and the provincial government, mandated that all healthcare workers have to get injections to be able to practice their trade, something they have spent tens of thousands of dollars for and have work experience in, right? And the hospitals are firing nurses and doctors in Canada, right? And uh personally my personal belief is that i will never succumb to bullies or coercion which is what is taking place right now the centralized government is coercing people forcing people mandating people saying that they will destroy their lives or throw them onto the streets fuck their uh education what they have passion in working in to forget about how many years they've worked to save lives if they do not get their injections they will be fired right well we don't succumb to coercion we adjust our lifestyles to stand against bullies uh no matter what we have to do and we're making certain sacrifices and as a comic book collector for 35 years this is one of those periods that i'm making the sacrifice because standing resisting uh, fascism right totalitarianism right fanatics cults coming into your country and taking over and trying to destroy the fabric of your society through mandating that everyone obey the dictates otherwise there will be hell to pay and yes there will be hell to pay but i think it's going to flip the other way around right so uh for our family i am or we are reducing our extra expenses to make sure we can stay above water and resist the rollout of fascism in canada 
okay and if you're Canadian and if you're not and if you do not understand what the hell is going on I highly recommend you do a little research I highly recommend you do a little research stand for your right to fight